Well, this is the beginning of the trip. There's the sign right there. It says Seattle. That's the exit. Again, here we go. Getting on the, another on-ramp. So we're headed downtown. I'll try to point out interesting things along the way. Um, and the trip is cut short because I edited all the boring parts out. Although some of this isn't all that exciting either, I guess. But here we go and I'll try to get it right. You know, up here on the left, look over there and pretty soon you're going to see, if you look hard, that's Boeing. They make airplanes right there and they have a landing strip and everything. So that's the Boeing, part of the Boeing facility. Look at the skyline of Seattle coming up there. Right here is coming up after we go into these overpasses. You're going to see them. Okay, just be patient, you know. I've tried to kind of hit some high points here. That's the stadium right there. That roof just uh, opens from center to the side. On the left, we just passed it. Here's Seattle on the left-hand side there. And it was pretty uneventful. There's the stadiums again. There's one on the left and one on the right. And both of them have those ceilings that just peel open from the middle if the weather's good. We're headed into downtown. You're gonna start to see the big buildings up close now. Here we go, on an off-ramp. A lot of construction going on. I guess that's always in a big city like that. It's only about a 25 minute drive. Here's a beautiful exit, and we're gonna get into the heart of the city right now. This is where it all begins. And what I mean is the hunt for a parking space. So we're gonna zoom through here, speed it up a little bit, and you're gonna see on the right pretty soon some uh, geodesic domes and that's the Amazon uh, headquarters and there you won't miss it it's amazing as a matter of fact I'll we kind of stop at a red light when we get there it's in the next block or so on the right so just keep your eyes peeled you see this the uh, sky the space needle in the uh, horizon there and pretty soon on the right here it is that's Amazon headquarters those are the geodesic domes it's uh, like a botanical garden inside those domes. That's the Space Needle. Like I said, if you walk inside those things, it's just amazing. It's a great big garden area. I love coming downtown, really. Here we go, Space Needle. You see the elevator going up right at the top, right there? It's gone now. But um, pretty soon we're gonna loop back around. Oh, there's the monorail system. There's not a monorail going by right now, but on the right there. This is Ghost Alley, and it's just a bunch of bubblegum stuck to the walls. It's a tourist attraction, and it's pretty grotesque, and I really tried not to touch it because yuck. But yep, that's Ghost Alley, and that's the bubblegum wall. This is the entrance to uh, Pike Place Market, the Farmer's Market, and I'll just spin around here and show you this little outside Farmer's Market, not quite part of the uh, Pike Place Market. And we're going to go in right about there. It says Farmer's Market. And on the left-hand side, which is right here, this is where you may have seen them tossing fish back and forth. The guys in the orange uh, suits toss fish back and forth. I couldn't catch them doing it. And they'll do it if you give them 20 bucks, but I wasn't going to give them 20 bucks. So, sorry. But uh, we'll just look at tourists. And that's the waterfront viewpoint through there. We'll head over there in a minute. But I'll spin around over this way, and this is a Wednesday, so the market's not very busy. Look at the seafood. I mean, it's just fantastic, and um, I love coming down here. This is my birthday today, by the way, so this is my birthday outing. And um, the guys are hard at work. Everybody's loving the seafood. Now, we're outside here, and these are little uh, places to eat. And there's our equivalent to London's Big Eye. There's the uh, docks where they unload all the cargo containers there on the left. And then you see the Ferris wheel right there in the middle, kind of. Our answer to London's Big Eye. And then we're going to spin around here. And uh, people live down there, as a matter of fact. Some of those are apartments, some of those parking garages. Again, the little eating areas for that restaurant. Pretty darn cool. This is one of the main um, alleys inside. 
so you can see it's all beautifully lit and amazing stores and shops and any kind of curiosity you want to get especially particular to the pacific northwest lots of tourists accents from all over the world and um, this lady was nice enough to ask about my eye well i have glaucoma and so glaucoma you lose vision and what's lost can never be regained so after i bored her sufficiently we went down to look at the, the flower arrangements which used to be five and ten dollars and because they don't have customers right now they've gone up to about 20. more um you know food on the left and every make and shape of person you want to imagine wandering, wandering through here athenian lunch seafood restaurant right there on the left we didn't eat out today we just went back home eventually but um you can see we're right here on the waterfront and this is uh, where you come to if you want fresh seafood this vegetable stand over here is amazing um just any kind of fruit and vegetable from local farms all throughout uh, the pacific northwest you know in washington <laughs> and um it's a, just an amazing place to come and get terrific uh you know produce and you can sample all this stuff they'll cut open an apple or an orange or a plum <coughs> and let you have a bite these stalls aren't as busy as they usually are like i said this is